Greetings everyone, Wolf here with another episode of Minecraft 1.14. And last episode we got the foundation in for the base, and I'm over here at the end. And I'm thinking I might change up a little something with the top circle here. So what I want to do is is work on the towers here and then see where we can go from there. But before we actually get building, I have a little bit of a message for everybody. The following video is being released on Memorial Day 2019 in the United States. I just wanted to let everyone know that those who have served will never be forgotten. Thank you for your service. Okay, let's get to work here now. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I have to replace some of these uh, temporary floor blocks with the uh, blocks I need in place. And right here, this little section where we're going to join up, I'm actually going to switch these out for cobblestone. So this section right here, I'm going to switch in with cobblestone. And then the outer rim, we're going to switch up with the stone brick. But I have to, in order to keep a nice look going around, I have to actually include some of these other blocks that are next to it adjacent here like this so that we get a continuous um, feel for what we're actually doing on the upper part so let's get this stuff out of here this whole center section is going to come out as well since i'm going to be moving the tower up by two levels we don't technically need the stuff that's here in the center this temporary floor that we have okay so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing it like this and here 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 there, like so, and I see a patrol down there, <laughs> lovely, I will go kill them in a second, okay, and then the last little bit, right there, sorry, so I'm now switched out for what we're going to need, I'm going to take out this floor, I'm going to go kill that patrol, and pick up my blocks, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side, right back. Alright, now that I have the uh, sides and stuff all taken care of and the middle taken out, and that patrol is dead. Um, actually, before you go in there, speaking about that patrol, oddly enough, I know they're currently working on the 1.14.2, uh, they're on pre-releases for it. Um, one of the things is, is the patrols have been forming in areas where they really shouldn't like right now i actually have one that is trapped inside that tree up there somewhere so they're forming on top of the blocks inside the leaves and getting trapped this is the fourth yes fourth patrol guy that's trapped inside of a tree um i believe though the next uh, uh update hopefully we'll fix that and we'll find out okay so anyway let's get actually to work here so what i want to do is now we're going to actually start building up some layers here and i'm actually going to use some wood i don't need my axe so let's put you away for right now for stairs and then i'm going to use the brick to bring up the stairs one more level and i'm going to want to oh, we'll just throw a temporary block there for right now so we're gonna have a block here and a block here and then we'll do our next set of stairs to bring us up to the two levels that we want to be at good so this will be the ground floor right here and then what i'm going to do is i'll do one layer of wood right here i'm going to ring the rest of in here as uh, grass so we need to bring up okay so i'll figure out what i want to do there that's going to be a tower wall here, the tower wall here, that's going to go here, like so. Okay, so this is going to be the top layer right here. Let me get that all in place, and we'll do the next step. All right, now, I have uh, been playing with the top of this and trying to figure out a good design. Unfortunately, I came up with a bunch of ones that I didn't particularly like. So I settled on... Um, what you're looking at right now i'm not sure if i'm 100 sold on this design as it is so it may change in the future once i get some of the other stuff like this 
uh, big tower goes here and stuff in place and see how things look. All right, so let's get this built over here. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to get the side railing up here. So all we simply do with that is we're going to take upside downstairs, of course, like we normally do. And place them along the edge here, which will give us an extra ridge line. And then down in this little section, I'm going to put one down below. Put one here. And then I'm going to switch out for that block right there. And then we're going to take these and the site wall sections and simply just place them down along there. Okay. That gives us this uh, section in here next to the tower. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch this stuff out. Let's get back over to where our stairs are. And then uh, we're going to go upside down, right side, just for a little decoration here, like so. Okay. And then we're going to ring. See, the rest of it is going to ring again around. And since I'm going to end it here, as you can see right there by where the wall is, get back up there. We're just going to place it. Since I got a wall there, it wants me to step down. Okay, now. Do, 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 do. I should have turned that, but sorry, no big deal. We'll turn it right there. So we're going to come all the way around the whole circle until we meet up where the next tower is going to be. And then, of course, it changes up. Do, 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 do. Okay. And this is, of course, I'll have the turn here. No big deal. This is where a lot of people fall, <laughs> including me sometimes. So I have feather falling on my boots, luckily enough, which is not as bad as uh, not having it. So they have a tendency of falling through holes <laughs> when I like explore and everything. All right now, see, we're coming up to the next tower section. So this is where we're going to change out just a little bit. That's going to come out to here. And then we're going to want to build up here a little bit because we need a wall section to come up here. And we're going to have a wall section here and here. The reason we're putting that one there is so we have that little space right there. See it? Okay. Oh, wait, I went too far. That doesn't go there. So next up, we're going to have... Let's see, that is part of the one, so here's the center, right? One, two, three, then we have the two over, so we'll go here and here. Then we have our singles, right? Okay, and then we're going to have our doubles again. And that's part of that circle, if you remember, we did on last episode, which was uh, 19 blocks wide. So, actually, that can be a jump block. No, no, because since I'm going to be inside, I'm going to use regular blocks for right now. And that can actually be, give me a jump block in there. No sense wasting a block if I don't have to, like so. Okay. So, then that gives us our outer ring on the stone wall. Let's get our stuff in place to set up where the tree is going to go. So we know the tree is going to go right here in the center. And then I'm going to want, give me that back. Get in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take out the grass box right here. And I'm going to put down this ponzel. So it acts as a, uh, kind of like a mulch look next to the trees. Like so. Okay. Then I want to get my lighting in place, so of course I'm going to take out these blocks here, here, and of course here. Oop, fell in. And here. Now, that is four blocks out from the tree trunk. One, two, three, four, except for this one next to the stairs, which is only three. One, two, three. And in that place, we're going to put a light source. In this case, I'm using jack-o'-lanterns. Why not? And then we're going to cover those jack-o'-lanterns with this green, whoop, come on, green carpeting. Which will help us with getting some little different color uh, to the grass up here. And then we're going to take some of this green concrete powder and place it up in here in random locations. So let's do something like this. Okay, we'll go here. 
Oh, how about here and here? Let's see here. Now, you can do singles and stuff like that, but no, normally when you do something like this, they don't always have, they always uh, don't come in single sections like. So you want to make sure you have multiple uh, color changes so next to each other. Now this is okay, even though they're technically like singles, but since they're kind of like next to each other, it's, it's like they're joined a little bit. So, let's do something like this. How's that sound? And then, how about we go over here, back over to here, to here. Okay, so we have that, that, oh, and I'm one short. I'll have to make some more up, and then let's see. How about we do... Oh, let's do a single one here. Okay. So I'll make some more up and fill those two in. All right. Let's see what we can see here. And um, once again, what this helps to uh, do is, is create a um, color change so that we're not looking straight at just one solid green mass like we do see in here. Even if we have, like, the, the grass up here, which... Um, gives it a little contrast to the color change. If you have a flat surface like this, you, you want to add in a little uh, change so that you're just not staring at one solitary color. All right, now let's get the fencing in place. This is simply just following along the ridge line that we created. So, no big deal here. Okay, easy, get in there. Easy as pie. Until we get to here, we're going to then allow this to be the tower wall, and then we'll have two right there. All right. Now, that's all in place at the moment. And then I need to take out this section here and put in the wood planks right in here. All right, now that we have both sides mirrored in, Let's get the trees in place that uh, are going to take up on this part of the tower. Now, there used to be a technique where we could grow the tall oak trees, and uh, it just, for some reason, either I'm derping it up or it's just not working. So, we're going to build the tree. All right, let's get our uh, base trunk in place in the first half here. Oh. Come on, get up there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to come up. Oh, a couple blocks here. Okay. So we have... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that sounds good. And then let's go from here. We can continue going up a little bit more. And we'll take our first branch coming off. Say this away. Oh, then let's go up. How's that sound? We'll go up. Oh, and then... Um, Let's do something like this, maybe. We'll go here. All right, and then. Do, do, do. Oh, do too much now. Yeah. All right, and we can go with. Oh. Go here. Let's try a low one here, and then we'll raise it up a little. How's that sound? All right, do, 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 do. building a tree. Come on, just, wow. Oh, oh, not shifting. <laughs> okay, next, let's see. We're going to make you a little longer. And then let's put the end cap of you here. Okay. And then we'll face you coming up. All right. So let's get one more here let's get oh let's see get uh, one coming off of there right do, 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 do. and let's get a little piece coming off of here go up a little bit more yeah let's put the topper on and let's see here let's get down here uh, let's put one out coming here, and then let's go here, 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 right, 
Do -do -do -do. Jumping in Minecraft. Okay. And then let's come back out here. Come on. Oh, we'll put a branch here. Branch out to here. And how about we come here like that even. And let's go. Need to kind of build up a little bit more too. So. Do -do -do -do. Let's put that there. We'll come back up one more here, right? And let's see here. We need say you want to come out here. Go here. And let's go a small little branch come out to here. All right. Let's get this out of the way at the moment. How are we looking here? Getting there. Okay, yeah, a little upside on that side, which is fine. That thing could disappear. Oh, yes, I do want to get a little bit more there. So why don't we branch you out there? And we got you a little bit there, so why don't we actually do one of these? But this here, like so, all right? Good. Okay, and then we need a little something, something here. So we'll do that. And then we need a little something that looks like up there, maybe. Do, 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 do. Now, mind you, I sketch trees and stuff like that all the time. So, oh, how about we do something like this? We'll put that there. We'll put something like that there. We'll come on out from here to here. No, wait, actually, I'm going to go up with it then. Come up here to here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. And that's kind of what I want to do here. One block there. Good, okay. Now, I believe that's enough for us to start getting some leaves in place. I got two different colored leaves here. I got spruce leaves and then oak leaves. I'm going to use the spruce leaves on the inner part to get some uh, more darker because it's on the inside of the trees and stuff like that. So, we'll start uh, getting in some tree leafage in here. Covering up some of the most basic parts. I know not a lot of this, like wood and stuff, is probably going to get covered up, which is fine. Um, no big deal. This is what will allow us to get some of our um, life and everything here. And it doesn't all have to be filled in. So we'll just kind of see what we got here. Getting a little closer to the tree. And we'll see what we got there. Yeah, let's put it there. And let's see. Oh. Yeah, down into here, of course. So let's get here. Let's see. Next. Oh, let's get it down in here and see what we got. Yeah, let's get some dark, darker color in there, that's for sure. Oh, let's, actually, yeah, that looks good. Let's go here, go here. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How are we doing here? All right, so all right, switch over to the oak now. Let's get to some of the exterior oak sections. All right. Oops. I meant to actually get that down on the lower part there, but it's okay. No big deal. Well, let's get that over here. How's that look? Yeah, good. All right. Now, the thing about the leaf blocks, there shouldn't be any uh, mobs forming on these leaf blocks. Um... Now, like I was saying earlier, there is uh, some spawnage with like the patrols that are spawning inside leaf blocks, and because they're on top of the the wood blocks and stuff like that. Now, hopefully, that won't get too terribly affected by the game and everything here. So we'll see what happens. We'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah. Get some of our fill in here. Make ourselves a really good big tree. Okay, yep, I can go in there. Oh, I'll have to get down a little bit. 
already. Yeah, let's get that filled in. Yeah, 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 it looks good. Perfect. All right. Good, 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 good. Now, see, what I'm trying to do is uh, I am trying to cover all the top parts of the wood. But I'm also trying to see, um, so it's not like a square tree, like I'm fucking like Minecraft makes them. And which is one of the reasons why I'm adding a little bit of the color depth in with it. Okay, I think we have all the top parts covered up, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Looks like it. Let's get down. Okay, let's see what we've got to fill in down here. What should we do? All right, good. So we'll fill in some stuff here. We'll fill in here. Yeah, like so. Good. We're looking good. Uh, let's get that to here. Let's see, it looks like it's here, here. See, now, by designing the tree uh, branches and the trunk and everything the way we do, we're able to effectively change the look of the tree to give it character and depth and stuff like that. And uh, I'm almost at least for this one tree, which is fine. I can go there. We'll go up of there. Fill that in there. How's that look there, right? And how about we have a little bit here, a little there. We'll just put that in there like so. Keep the rest blank. Okay, let's take a quick look back and see what we got here. Okay, we have ourselves an oak tree. And that one can stay, uh, nope, well, we'll actually put a leaf up there. Looks a little square, so let's get it, there we go. All right. And we have ourselves an oak tree. And since if you design your leaves, your, leaves, your branches differently on each tree, you won't get the same tree every single time. All right. Let me get the other one up. Now, both trees are in place. The top part of these two towers is now completed. Um, I haven't done anything yet with the lower sections just quite yet, and I will do that in a separate episode. So, we have our trees in place, and they look completely, totally different. Now, the thing to remember when you're building a tree is trees are not perfect. They have, for lack of a better word, flaws in them. So when you're designing them, design them with flaws. So in other words, like there might be holes and stuff like that. I could probably put another one or two more leaf blocks around or something, but for the most part, it you know, the, uh, see like there's a, like a hole there, that's fine. Um, trees have holes in them, all right? So, uh, you know, don't, don't think you have to build the most perfect tree and stuff like that. Just go with what feels right, you know? And, there is an element of randomness to it, but there's also, you know, you have to kind of like look at it logically speaking. Uh, just observe how a tree looks and stuff like that. And you notice that, you know, it will have some branches that are shorter, some branches that are longer, um, the way the leaves and stuff fill in and don't fill in. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. We, we've got the two uh, tree towers that are in the walkway section down. So then we have our, our color changes in the grass and stuff like that to help give it some of the uh, depth and everything and character of this particular build. Once again, the only thing I'm not sure if I'm satisfied yet is this fencing that goes around here, but we'll wait and see what happens once this other tower stuff gets into place, and maybe we'll change it out. We'll see how it all goes. So that's it for this episode, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Y'all take care now. Bye.